Hey everyone, Lance Martin, Cobalt Banker Town and Country. Whew, we pretty much made it through. We are on round three of our 2020 real estate market forecast video style. And we're sitting here with John Husing, and you're bringing us home. So um, if you've been following our series, I guess, I never really thought of this as a series, but last week we shot Christopher Thornburg. Yesterday, actually, we shot Manford Kyle with um, Chris, of course, was with Beacon Economics and UCR, uh, Manford with Claremont McKenna College, and John with Economics and Politics, correct? So at any rate, we're posting Manford's video today. As a matter of fact, this video will go up today, so you're going to kind of bump into Manford's video, full-length presentation. It's on our Facebook page now. Um, John, we shot today. Adam's going to get us out of production here tonight, and we're going to post you. We're not really sure. Probably not on Friday, but probably over the weekend or Monday. So at any rate, our 2020 real estate market forecast is almost done, and i got to admit, I'm a little tired. So you just finished um, about 50 minutes. Your opinion, just to set the stage, a little different than Chris. Probably closer to Manford, based upon what I saw. You immediately came out of the out of the shoot using the R word and the recession. So, give us a little summary of what you just did. What I just what I did was I took a look at what I had forecasted in January when COVID nineteen or coronavirus wasn't an issue. Correct. And I looked at it sector by sector. And then I looked at what I think it's going to do now, right. given closed stores, closed restaurants, people basically being asked to stay in their homes. So I looked at each of the sectors and I said, okay, what do I anticipate will actually happen now? And you adjusted every one of those categories. I mean, you guys are going to see it when you watch the when you watch this full video, but you went through, my God, a couple dozen, it seemed like, categories. I think there was about 10. Okay. Felt like it's but anyway, days. the whole idea of that was to say this is what what it looked like, and this is now the new reality. Right. The new reality is a recession. There's no way around it. Um, I had forecast we're going to add around 28,200 jobs this year. I'm now forecasting we're going to lose about 31,500 And we're, when you say we're Inland Empire. We're Inland Empire is what I'm referring to. Okay. That. Now, that is, the, the last time we lost jobs like that was during the Great Recession. Right. Now, my instinct is that it, that is a positive forecast. It could be worse. It depends on how effective what the Congress is trying to do, is doing, how that works out. I mean, the bottom line for me in all of this is this. The Chinese proverb of, may you live in interesting times, we're there. Right, right. And as an economist, though watching what's happening is distressing, trying to figure out where it's going is honestly fun. Right, okay, I have you at a little disadvantage because I know you haven't seen Mad F Manford's talk yet, okay? He kind of gave two scenarios. The best case scenario was we kind of roll through this in four or five months and we kind of get on our feet and we'll have to watch the video to see specifically what he said after that. And then the, the a worse second scenario was, you know, it's, it's much longer than four or five, six months. Um, do you have a, a feeling, and again, granted, we're, we don't know, but... Well, given what's happened in China and I think it's Singapore, Korea, where it does come back down, and then you can start looking about opening up, okay. and the fact that the people in Washington, frankly, have, to some extent, stopped their partisan clashes and have come together to do some stuff that needed done. I think the short term, couple of quarters max before we're through this and getting back. Perfect. Okay, all right, so here we are. We're wrapping up our 2020 real estate market forecast. By the way, I do think we need to kind of date stamp this. This is March, where are we, the 26th? We're the 26th. Our original forecast was the 18th, so we're eight days removed. Chris's speech was eight days ago. Manford was yesterday. So at any rate, 
Our market forecast is coming to an end, so I want to thank John Husing, all of our speakers. I want to thank our sponsors, Back Porch Homes, Homebridge, Cobalt Property Management, of course, Global Banker Town and Country, that's us. So hopefully you guys got some value out of this. We will be back um, in 2021, and we'll do this again. Maybe we'll get all of our speakers together, and... Um, and we'll see what actually happened. Bring swords. And, yeah, there you go. We'll bring swords. <laughs> All right, everybody be safe, stay positive, and um, we're going to get through this.